Chapter 6, Section 2, we're going to start out talking a little bit about parametric functions. Parametric functions are functions that actually have three variables, but we're putting together ordered pairs. One of the variables we're going to call a parameter, and it will determine the value of the other two variables. So the one that decides the value of the other two, that one's called the parameter. Okay, so we'll get back to that in a minute. Now, just remember, the equation of a circle uh, where the center is the origin is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And if we're talking about a unit circle in particular, that's going to be a circle with a radius of 1, center at the origin. So now where the parametric equation comes into play here is that our unit circle is actually, the values are going to be determined by an angle. So T we're going to use to represent the angle initially. So the initial side is going to be on the positive x-axis. And then we'll have a terminal, terminal side somewhere else and the angle between those two is going to be t. Now the point p, which is made up of the ordered pair x and y on the unit circle, they correspond to this number t. And what we're going to say is x is equal to cosine of t and y will be equal to sine of t and that's how we're going to put together our ordered pairs. Now cosine written is written as cosine that's why COS is its abbreviation and sine is S-I-N-E and that's its abbreviation and that's the argument right there which is our parameter t. So here's a picture of a unit circle where T is the central angle, so this angle from here to here going in this positive counterclockwise direction, this represents T. And this angle will determine the ordered pair here and here where X is the cosine of T and Y is the sine of T. So there are actually going to be six different trigonomic functions. We've got the cosine we were just talking about. So cosine of T will be equal to x over r, where r is the radius of the circle, and x is an x-coordinate. Now, in the unit circle, the radius is always 1, so on a unit circle, it's just going to be equal to that x value. And then the reciprocal of a cosine function is what we're going to call a secant. and its abbreviation is SEC. So the secant of angle T will be equal to the reciprocal of X over R, which is going to be R over X. But in our case, for a unit circle, it's going to be 1 over X because the R is equal to 1. Sine is another trig function. So sine T be equal to y over r, but since r is 1, it's just going to be y. And its reciprocal is going to be cosecant. And that is going to be CSC for cosecant. So that would be r over y. 
or in this case for unit circle, 1 over y. Then we have something called tangent. And the value of tangent, T-A-N, is going to be y over x. And then, because r is not involved, it's always going to be y over x. And then the reciprocal of that we'll call cotangent. And that's going to be COT. And that'll be X over Y. Now bear in mind there are some places where these don't exist. Um, anywhere the denominator is equal to zero, these functions can't exist. So cosecant, uh, tangent, cotangent, and secant, there are places where they have no value because it would be 1 over zero, which is undefined.